Like I'm actually very, I'm really enjoying YouTube right now and doing these videos, hair videos and stuff like that. So thank you so much for your support so far. So it's the next day, I've woken up, done my makeup and everything. I put my head scarf on last night. So now we're gonna take it off and see how it looks. Oh, blood clot. Yeah, it's looking. Yeah, it's looking laid still. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get the hot comb and I'm just gonna lay this part because laid but it's not laid laid like this bit can get laid laid you'll see anyway when i put it on every man one piece of me i'm a buck i'm a bone we right so the hot cones have time to heat up this is an electric hot comb you just plug it in and then you just put the switch on heats up you just want to take your time and be careful basically set it back and laid, laid and slayed. You see it? You see it? I love baby hairs, but this is how you can do it without any baby hairs. Let me wet my hair. Pull up, pull up and jump up, jump up. Just jump up. I think I want to side part like this. Right, this one. Now I'm just going to use some of this John Frieda Frizz Ease. So this is the finished look with the lace laid, no baby hairs. It's God's the beef maker. But I am a baby hair girl, so I will be adding minimal baby hairs. I won't add too much. So this video will be about no baby hairs and minimal baby hair. Alright, so I'm just gonna add two baby hairs on this side and this side because I feel like my hairline is very like round but like, I don't really have a shape to it and I love like in front of that have shapes so that's why I use the baby hairs to add like a shape to my hairline because I feel like my hairline is quite round you don't want to just part like a little line straight line like this like I mean you can do that but I feel like that and then slip it. I used to do that but I feel like you have to grab like a chunk. It can't be that one straight part. It has to be like a little, let me see if I can show you. Yeah, so that you wanna like a curve. These neighbors. Sorry about that. Yeah, you just wanna curve them in for you guys. I can see that more. So you just wanna scoop and see it. Not too, not one straight line like. 
see how it goes like around. It doesn't just go straight. This is it straight. Let me show you straight. This would be it straight. Nah, you want to look around. When it comes to baby hairs, when it comes to the cutting of baby hairs, you can either use a razor or you can use scissors. I'm just going to use scissors because that's what I have at home. You just want to cut downwards and lightly. Lightly cut, lightly. Like, don't, even, don't even do this. Like, just hold it open and chop, 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 chop. Is it? For laying the baby hairs, I like to use a mousse. I use this one because it doesn't have alcohol and you should use a mousse that doesn't have alcohol when you're laying your baby hairs because if it does have alcohol and you put it on your lace, your lace is going to start lifting because alcohol loosens the glue. Like you're meant to use rubbing alcohol to take off the glue so if it has alcohol in this, it's going to take it off. The mousse that I like to use is a John Frieda Frizz Ease Dream Curls curl reviver mousse defines and holds your naturally curly style so i like mousse because i like mousse because it's more natural like once you put it on you put it on then you put your hair scarf on for a bit and then you just brush it out which i'm gonna do and you see that it's more like fluffy it's not as stiff but if you want more of a stronger hold but you don't want it to be like stiff i suggest i suggest i suggest using the mousse and the got to be together so you just literally need a little dot of this and then some mousse mix it together on your hand and then use that so this will give it a hold but then this will make it not as like stiff because it's got the mousse and it's you know makes it softer so what i do is i just squeeze a little piece on the back of my hair you don't need too much just a little dot of the got to be so this is the got to be and this is the mousse and now for baby hairs what I like to do is I like to bring them down and then scoop them back in so swoop just do it lightly And then this part, the bit that is not the um, the part that is not baby hairs, so that like the hairline, the new hairline. So basically, this is the baby hair. So this is the new hairline now. I just push it back with some mousse, so you can see the difference between the baby hair and the hairline. Just gonna smooch it in together. As you can see, both sides are done. It's just easy. It's just some swoops, just two swoops. But I feel like it just adds, I, I just love it. I love frontals of baby hairs, like, girl, for me, I definitely need baby hairs, like, look at that. It just adds more shape to my face. Like, before it was just round. Now it's got like a, do you get not a gene but people that have round hairlines if you're comfortable with that that's fine that like, i don't think it looks horrible but i just think baby hairs look i well i like i know i like baby hairs on mine so i'm just gonna tie down the lace and the baby hairs very 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 tight
been like 10 minutes so i'm gonna take this off you can leave it for longer but i'm going out so i can't have it on for that long oh beach little baby beach so now we've got our toothbrush and we're just gonna brush out the baby hairs to make them look more hair like less like stuck down pasted See that? I just kind of just literally just comb through them. So this is it combed out compared to it not combed out. So as you can see, this bit is side is nice, but it just looks very like pasted on. This side just looks more like fluffy, you know. So I'm gonna do this other side now. So this is it, all brushed out. It just looks more softer and natural to me. I would definitely recommend mousse and brushing out your baby hairs after you sweat them because it just makes it much more natural thank you for watching my video and i hope that you have learned a few tips and tricks and you have enjoyed watching me and i hope to see you soon well obviously i'm not really going to see you i hope you come back and see me soon on my next upload like I'm actually very, I'm really enjoying YouTube right now and doing these videos, hair videos and stuff like that. So thank you so much for your support so far. I actually uploaded the intro yesterday and I've already got 50 subscribers. Like I'm actually so happy. I didn't think a lot of people were gonna, you know, subscribe because a lot of people are doing hair and I want to do it different so that it's not the same as everyone else so anything hair related that you guys want to see let me know and I will provide thank you so much and I'll see you later